It's so, you know, it's so exciting to be here because um, a little bit of backstory. Um, I started in this business when I was like 19 years old. And um, I probably still look 19, kind of. And I'm, I'm, I'm no, nowhere near that age anymore. And I'm watching the faces and everybody here that's very excited about learning. Y'all got your pens out. Y'all got, you guys got notes you're taking and everything. And, and I'm going to tell you, you can take notes, you can learn, you can do everything, but it's nothing like doing it. Everything is ridiculous in this business. And I'm, what I mean by that is, like now, right, I was supposed to stay, because I do comedy too. I was supposed to stay longer. I get a call. You got to be on the radio. We got to sell tickets over here. You got to be getting pulled over here, pulled over there. This is the beautiful thing about this is you guys are going to take all these notes and you're going to figure out what, how to do things and then good, study them and then throw them out because, <laughs> because you're going to have to always be from scratch. And that's what I teach about the seven secrets to unlocking a movie star. And you guys, if you guys get my book, it's called The Actor's State of Mind. It's a quick read. It's not, I'm not a guru. I'm not doing the guru thing. Like, I'm the best actor. And, the best uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm, 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 I, I can tell you the pitfalls. I'm, your, I'm a coach and I'm a consultant. Things I've been through, I can inspire you on what, you know, how things work from a, a basic place. Because sometimes you get these acting gurus like, oh, he didn't do this. That's not the method of Streisenberg. I'm like, you know, I'm not trying to give you guys methods. I'm t yeah, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to be that guy. I'm trying to give you guys the tips of, of pitfalls as a friend that things I went through and things that I can say pretty much call it, save me all time, you know, and I have this uh, master class also online and it's very simple of what we're going to talk about today. Seven secrets to uh, unlocking a movie starring you. And um, what we do is uh, teach branding is everything. Like I know. I know agents might hate me for saying this and people might hate me because I'm, I'm kind of a rebel. What I mean by that is I go around the situation. I look at what's the bottom line to this business. It's, it's a business. As artists, we don't want to admit that. I, I've had people, you know, come to me, you know, just uh, great actors not working because they don't understand the business side of it. And if you can balance the business side in your mind, you then can balance the artist because it's... Uh, I don't care, you smoke cigarettes, I did the part really well, you know, you know, these actors are so deep, blah, blah, blah. Uh, that's cool when you're training and stuff, but out of training, you got to understand branding, branding is what is, is very important, and, I, I, and this sounds so bad to, as, you know, um, as, as what I'm about to say as far as the, the methods of what's taught in the popular uh, as artists, I would say, the first secret is know thyself, know thy truth. I'm gonna give you guys that. Know thyself, know thy truth. That's the first thing. Know thyself, know thy truth. I wish I could have these up here, but, but uh, yeah, that's uh, part it's part two. No, because I, I always forget. It's funny. I always forget the seven secrets when I uh, <laughs> by memory, right? I should know them, but I, I always get two and three mixed up. But they still seven secrets whether they go in this order. You, the reason why I say you know yourself, know yourself, because acting is, is portraying someone else. And if you know yourself, you, you're able to portray some, someone, someone else. So kind of study yourself first as a character. My thing is, is life is a movie and you're the star of that movie. Remember that. You're writing your own story, your destiny. That's the first thing I want you guys to know. That life's a movie, and you're the star of that movie. So what type of star you guys want to be? What type of person you want to be? This all, like Marvin said, relationships is everything. How do you, what is, are you the hero? Are you, are you, the, are you the tragic hero? Do you guys know anything about hero's journey? You guys study hero's journey? Okay, you're your hero, right? And I want you to map out your story first for you as a person. Take yourself out of the movie. And I want you to map out who you are. Like, I'm a, uh, uh, me, I'm a, I'll give you myself. I'm, I'm the flawed hero, okay, and the underdog. Everything I want to play from now on is flawed hero underdog. I'm the guy who, that people don't think can do it, but he, he can do it, but all these obstacles get in his way, and he overcomes. That's my character arc. And it really is how I am in real life, because I knew myself, you know, that truth. I have this rhythm that, that happens where 
I get pushed down so much and then out of nowhere, I, you know, I, get, I go up. Now, this could be because of my background, the team of my background. I, I have, I'm under the belief of, 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 you know, the Bible. So I look at uh, 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 King David's story where it's kind of this arc where he goes low and then God pulls him up and, and God gets the glory for that. That's my character arc because I'm not worthy flawed hero. I'm not worthy of these things, but because God is worthy, he pulls me there. So I'm not to be in church, but that's kind of where, yeah, right. God, my dad's a pastor and I grew up and my grandfather was a pastor and I grew up and I became a comedian. <laughs> Good for me, but, but I, I, I do love the truth and I do, I do believe, I do know that, you know, there's something, I don't, I don't ever push anything on, you know, everyone has their personal, but in film, I'm telling you my story, this is my story. And a lot of people, you know, they think you just Bow Wow's best friend. That's, that was our characters are projected. So when you see the characters I'm projecting, you'll see the underlying, you know, of the character who I am as a person. Now, check it out. Everyone does this. This is really important. Stars do this. Look at Denzel Washington, right? He's the same but different guy in every movie. He's always a distinguished gentleman. When you're going to go to a distinguished gentleman, when you're going to go to whatever your character is, I want you to... Then underline, I want you to interweave you. And people say this, that you shouldn't do it. I, I totally disagree. People want to submerge yourself in a character and you guys interweave them together. That's why you got to be careful what you play. Because you're really, you, you, you're, you're channeling energies and you got to make sure whatever you play, you have to, you know, because you're, 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 you're pushing that energy forth and you know, that projection. So whatever you play, just be careful. You know, they say be careful what you wish for. And that's my personal advice. Be careful what you wish for. You know what I'm saying? Because you're gonna get it. And you, you're manifesting, you're putting stuff out there. So that, that's my personal advice. A lot of actors, look at Heath Ledger. He, I mean, God rest his soul. He went so deep into the character, he's gonna come out. That, that can happen. And because it's psychologically, and then you're putting that out there inside, to, you know, in, in, in the realm. So acting is that powerful and these master of, of, of mastering yourself and understanding. So I know I'm a flawed character. So when people, when you tell someone that, you know, they, they, then they have to go, okay, we know um, we're dealing with someone that, that has that hero's journey. Know thyself and know thy truth. Now, I'm going to do some, some, some work real quick for you guys. Uh, what type of character are you? What would you say? Okay, okay. That's a characteristic trait. Like, I guess the good friend is standing up for everybody. Okay, that's, that's a character trait. This is why you got to dig deep. What's your journey, though? What's your hero's journey for yourself? That you, and what type of hero are you? You know, if you're, see, what, what I'm saying, and even if you're a hero in a sidekick set, because those character traits have great character traits for a writing for a sidekick. Now, there's always people that can play next to people and they can steal the movie and they can still be great. So that's not a bad thing. But when you, if you want to be a lead actor, you know, it's so funny. I've never played a lead in my life and everyone thinks I was a lead of these movies. You know what I mean? Because sometimes you're just a lead actor. Sometimes you're a character actor. So for character actors, this might not be the best advice because I believe in being typecast. I know it sounds crazy. Because for the business, if I can provide the business, the distinguished gentleman, if I can provide the business, the what, the flawed hero. Tom Cruise is the same person in every movie. Come on, y'all. He's running fast, shooting people. It's the same guy. So is uh, uh, Keanu Reeves. He just have different hairstyles and beards. It's the same guy. John Wick is the same guy from The Matrix. It's just a different hairstyle. And, if, and, it, and then, if you look at The Matrix, the last one, John Wick in The Matrix is the same dude with the same hairstyle. You, you already, because you want to go to a Keanu Reeves movie to watch him go, oh, what do you mean? Really? Okay, fine. You know what I mean? I don't want to go, I don't want to see him, you know, I, I want to see The Rock be The Rock. I want to see Kevin, you know, that thing he does, oh, oh no, you know, that thing, <laughs> you know, and he go, <laughs> did that, 
that's a that's a that's a stick they call that in comedy so once you master your stick but in acting you got to have your thing why are we paying for what's your name Antonio. Antonio why we why does a studio we need a good friend okay from those character traits that you said sounds like a great uh, a friend character not lead if you want to be a lead you got to find dig deep who you are for that hero's journey and live it out outside of the uh, outside of the screen because what you're living you live that out and 